Talk temperatures for the next few days. Temperature is going to be up and down. Now, technically, we already hit our high for the day. Uh, we were in the 70s after midnight, but we've dropped in. Uh, we started the day with some 60s, so I think this afternoon that's where we're going to be at low to mid 60s. Now, we go into tomorrow, we're up near 70. Down again Thursday, 59. Up a little Friday, 64, and then to 73 Saturday, and back in the 60s on Sunday. So temperatures just doing that roller coaster ride for the next few days, and then uh, eventually I think we'll start to see them uh, settle down a little bit. But probably next week. So here it is. We got we had the warm air last night, even all the way up until early this morning. Now the front has made it through Hampton Roads. Still got to pass through North Carolina. The cooler air is moving in, and temperatures have dropped to the 60s. We do have 50s off towards D.C. and New York, not that far away, and then 30s and 40s north of there. Lots of colder air up in the northeast states in the Midwest. And so we're going to get a little taste of that today, and then tomorrow the warmth will try and bounce back slightly. Now our temperatures currently mid to upper 60s. Uh, we're at 65 Newport News, 67 in Norfolk. We got lots of clouds, and the winds are out of the north now. Uh, for most of Hampton Road, so that's going to drop the temperatures even more through the morning. Now we've got scattered showers along this boundary. Let's have a look. Here's the update. It's more in North Carolina now. So around Windsor, over into Edenton, a little north of Edenton, Hertford, and almost to Elizabeth City. You've got a couple more in here towards the South Mills area, and then up into Southern Virginia Beach around uh, Pungo. You got a few showers, but not so much on the north end. Quiet in Portsmouth and Norfolk, northern Suffolk, but we got a few spotty showers over here uh, around the peninsula. You got a few around Hampton, around Big Bethel, and then you also have a couple more in eastern Surrey County up to James City County, and then western Gloucester County, Almondsville, and Matthews County in the south end. You got a few showers, Saluda, and that's all passing east, so it's going to move over to the bay. Uh, right now, there's just a couple spotty showers over there on the eastern shore. Now, our forecast calls for some scattered showers this morning through midday. I think we'll see a little bit more than shows up on the map here. But as we go into the afternoon, it should be a lot more isolated. I think we're looking at isolated showers and some pockets of drizzle. That's between noon and 3 p.m. Then we go into 6 o'clock, pretty quiet, mostly cloudy skies, cool temperatures. Overnight, that boundary lifts north a little bit and gives us some scattered showers after midnight till about 5 to 7 a.m. And then after that time, well, we start clearing things out. And we're looking pretty good. Noon, 3 p.m., we'll have temperatures near 70 degrees uh, and with a lot of sunshine out there. So looking pretty good for Wednesday afternoon. Temperatures, let's track them. So we're in the mid 60s to upper 60s this morning. I think we're going to be more in the low 60s this afternoon. Our model will come for low to mid, a mild, milder down towards North Carolina. And then we go into the evening and overnight, temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Then tomorrow, high temperatures going to be near 70 degrees. So we got a little bit of warming happening for tomorrow. With that sunshine, should be pretty nice. So this is kind of what you can expect for the afternoon. Temperatures low to mid 60s, uh, some mid 60s down towards North Carolina. Scattered showers becoming isolated. And then temperatures dropping. You get the north winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, gust to 20. There's only a weak disturbance in the tropics uh, down towards Central America. That's going to bring them some heavy rain, but I don't think it's got a, a good chance of formation. I might drop that to a low chance. All right, so tomorrow 70. Then we got uh, some upper 50s Thursday, partly cloudy. And then we are in the 60s on Friday, 70s again Saturday, 60 Sunday. So we're all over the place with those temperatures.